Now, were you a fan of Westerns before Hell on Wheels? Yeah, I grew up watching Westerns on the weekends. You know, when I, when I grew up, we had, well, we had five channels, the three networks, PBS and the local UHF channel. And the U local UHF channel would, would screen Westerns or martial arts films every Sunday afternoon. So come back from church, you watch a Western. And uh, so, yeah, I grew up on Sergio Leone. And you've said that um, Clint Eastwood's work has sort of influenced um, your character. Can you, can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, I don't think that you can play a Western hero without... Well, I, don't think you, I really don't think that you can do any genre without looking what the genre has already done. And when you're looking at the Western genre, you can't ignore Clint Eastwood. So, yeah, I, I, steal, with, I steal from Clint all the time. And if he was here, I'd tell him. I'd, I'd, I'd actually have an empty chair right next to me if Clint Eastwood was here. <laughs> have you ever gotten a chance to meet him yet? Or? No, I haven't. I'd love to, though. I really admire him a lot as a director and as, a, as an actor and as, a, as a, a leader in Hollywood. What do you think has been the biggest moment for your character in season two? Uh, the, bi the biggest moment for my character in, in season two, um, I, guess, I, I guess it was the last episode when my, the love of my life died. Yeah, that was probably, that was pretty big. And how about some of the weapons that you've gotten to use this season? Which one has been your favorite? <clears throat> yeah, I get to sh I'm really lucky I get to shoot these antique weapons. Uh, we have an armorer named Brian Kent who has one of the best antique gun collections in North, North America. And he keeps it safe and he, you know, he really shows us how to do it the right way. And uh, this season my, my character carries a 1857 45 caliber Remington. Uh, which is different from the Griswold he had in the in the first season. That was uh, the Griswold was Confederate issue. The the Remington is Union issue. It's a little bit of a character thing that never came up in dialogue, but I think it's I think it's pretty cool. That's got to be. I prefer the Remington. It's much better gone. That's got to be a dream come true for someone who grew up watching and loving westerns to be able to use these amazing weapons. Yeah, I'm hoping they give me my my gun at the end of it all. <laughs> of course, we'll have to clear it through customs. And what's the most fun aspect of being able to work um, in this time period? Get to ride a horse every day and get paid for it. That's absolutely the best part of my job. Did you ride horses beforehand, or is that something? Yeah, I grew up. I grew up riding horses, but I'd never learned how to operate a horse around a camera, which is a totally different skill set. And uh, you know, you gotta you gotta know not to walk over c cables that are exposed, and you gotta know to watch out for gopher holes when you're riding across a, uh, the prairie. And they don't really teach you that when you're just, when you're riding just for enjoyment. So I had to get back in the ring and learn a few things.